the engine before the start and after the stop and conduct the related works in order to keep it in good condition. I will explain part of the work. The first thing is explanation for the preparation before the start. Check that lubricating oil drops respectively from each part of the valve rocker arm shaft, piston pin, crank pin, main bearing and swing arm while conducting the turning with the pressure indicator cogs of all cylinders open in the state of operating the lube oil priming pump. Then, conduct air bleeding for lube oil strainer, drill oil strainer, fill pump, and so on. Further lubricate by hand to the governor linkage and the control device and check that they work smoothly. Move the start-stop lever from run position to stop position and vice versa and check that the rack of fuel injection pump, first lever shaft of governor linkage and connector work smoothly. Check if the indicator needle of the governor control shaft indicates the graduation between 4 to 6. In addition, when restarting the engine after the overhaul, check that no part or tool has been left in the crank case. Check that the tightening of bolts at each part has not been neglected. And if the valve mechanism is disassembled, check the clearance between suction exhaust valve heads. If fuel oil, cooling water, lube oil, and others are pulled in the cylinder, it may lead to troubles such as water hammer or oil hammer, and it is dangerous. Therefore, conduct air running to prevent abnormality. Set the start-stop lever to the stop position after setting the operation point changeover switch to the engine and open the pressure indicator cocks of all cylinders. Press start switch for a few seconds to conduct air running. After finishing air running, Close the pressure indicator cocks of all cylinders, set the start-stop lever to the run position, and prepare for the start. Now, I will explain the procedure for stopping the engine during the ordinary run. Block the load, run the engine for about 10 minutes with no load, and then stop it. Among HFO specified engines, however, for the engine specified for start-stop with MDO, see to it that HFO will never be left in the piping when the engine is stopped after the fuel has changed from HFO to MDO. Set the start-stop lever in the stop position. Open the pressure indicator clock and discharge the gas from the combustion chamber by conducting the air running in the same procedure as taken before starting the engine. Open and close the valves of each system beforehand according to the conditions for the stop. For the prevention of accidents, however, do not open the side cover of crankcase for 10 minutes after stopping the engine.